Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's short video is gonna focus on a fun new trend, the Western boot. I think all of us kind of would like to be a little bit of a cowboy. I don't know if it's uh, the popularity of Yellowstone or what, but this year's Western boot trend is a really fun one to try. However, trends like this, I find I don't wanna spend a lot of money on that item because I don't think this trend is going to be a lasting one. If it is, I may invest in a, in a better boot, but for this time, I just purchased this black booty from Amazon. They have a very similar one on Target, and I really wanted to get the brown color, but that was sold out. I ended up settling for this black, and I am really glad I did. What I'm gonna show you right now are five easy ways in which you can dip into this trend without going overboard. It's a real fun, playful look. I hope that you like what you see here. As always, if you do like, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Also, um, I want to tell you that all of these items that I'm showing you today are going to be listed in the description so you can find the links there. If I couldn't find the exact item, I will give you something comparable. And I'll also make sure that I let you know my sizing recommendations. Thanks, I hope you enjoy this. So one of the fun ways in which you can experiment with this Western boot trend is to wear it with a shirt dress. I particularly like a shorter shirt dress so that you can actually see the detailing on the boot. And I really liked this boot especially because it was not over the top. It is a black boot. You can't even, sometimes you can't even tell it's a Western boot except for the dip in the front of it. It does have some stitching. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's black stitching as well. So I consider it a very understated boot. It looks really cute, I think, with this particular look. I got this uh, plaid shirt dress on Amazon, very reasonably priced. It's actually a really nice soft flannel. And I think that this is a perfect way to kind of delve into this. You can put a belt over the top of it, but it does have a self-tie belt. It is running pretty much true to size, I think. Um, it, I had enough room in it, it's a really comfortable dress. So here's look number one, the shirt dress paired with this boot. Now, I tend towards browns, as you, if you've been watching any of these videos, you might be able to tell I really love browns and earth tones. But this dress is also available in many other patterns. I would just make sure that there's some black in it in the plaid to make sure the look um, pulls together with the booty. So look number two features another very popular dress on Amazon. This is the tiered tunic dress that we've probably seen a lot of different places. I love it in this beautiful rust color. I think it's a beautiful color for late fall, but also right into winter. And I think it looks really cute paired with this tall black Western boot. Another cute way to wear the Western boot trend is with a long denim skirt. We're seeing the long denim skirt a lot the last couple years. My favorite one is from Mango. This particular one is from Can Can, very similar to the Mango one. It does have an asymmetrical hem on it, so I don't know if you like that. If not, you might wanna go more with the Mango uh, version that just has a standard hem. But I like the slit up the front of it because that's where you can see the cowboy boot. I think it looks great peeking through. Here I have just paired it with a black flannel shirt uh, tied at the waist. This particular one I got several years ago, but I don't think it matters as long as you have your favorite flannel with a little bit of black in it or whatever color you decide to go with that picks up on the booty. Keep your, your jewelry simple. Um, and this is, this is a great look that is casual and will really take you just about anywhere. Now, another way to showcase this Western boot is to, with a short black skirt. This particular one I've had for several years, but it really is something we can find lots of different places. This one has a little bit of leather on it. <laughs> There goes my dog. And also um, I paired it with this denim shirt that I'm wearing right now. This shirt is from Mango and um, I love this shirt because I just, I just love the color of it. It also is soft, not too stiff, but just um, enough to hold the shape of the collar. So I will post the li links for that below, but I just think this looks adorable where you can see the boot coming up, a little bit of your leg, 
and then uh, a denim shirt on top. And finally, this last look features much more of a, a traditional look with a cowboy boot. Here I've paired it with a pair of Levi's skinny jeans with a high waist. These jeans are very, very comfortable and they're available on Amazon. And on top I have a buffalo plaid uh, pullover fleecy sweatshirt. This one is from L.L. Bean, and I do love it, but uh, they are lots of different places, and um, they're available at several different price points. So I will make sure that I post links to both the items that I'm wearing in this photo and also some others at some different price points to see if there's anything else that you like better. So there you have it five outfits to wear with this really great Western boot. I have to tell you, I have a lot of boots. This one is one of my favorites. It is so comfortable. I just love the heel on this one. It's not very tall, but it's a really nice solid base. And this is actually, I know it's not real leather, but it is a very, very comfortable boot. I will post the link for this boot and all of the other items that are featured in this video in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and give me a comment. Let me know which one of those looks you like the best. Thanks for watching.